Well, thank you so much for having me. Again, my name is Samantha Ford and I do business development with AIDP. We're a raw material supplier and market leader in functional ingredients. And I'm going to talk to you about Veg D3, which is a vegan society approved vitamin D3. So a little background, vitamin D3 is a biologically active form of vitamin D in the body. Decades of scientific evidence, which is still continuing to grow, proves over and over just how critical this nutrient is to our health. D3 not only lends to healthy functioning bones and muscles, but it also plays a key role in hormonal balance and immune health, which we know is of utmost importance, especially during these times. Um, but even before the COVID-19 pandemic, measure of vitamin D status was becoming more common along with recommendations for supplementation. And that is because over half the US population is estimated to be deficient. If you think about that, that is every other person in this virtual room. Now, why is that? Um, it's extremely difficult to get enough D3 from diet and lifestyle alone. And not to mention primary sources of D3 are mostly animal derived, which further limit those that adopt vegan and vegetarian lifestyles or those trying to adopt a greener living and limit their animal consumption. So until somewhat recently, non-animal sources of vitamin D included D2, which is the non-active form. But overwhelming evidence shows that D2 is functionally inferior to vitamin D3. It has up to 87% less absorption and utilization, and even up to 300% less effectiveness in the body. Even back in 2006, an article that was published in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition made a bold conclusion that vitamin D2 should actually no longer be regarded as a nutrient appropriate for supplementation or food fortification. Now, as far as D3 is concerned, for some time, the only non-animal option was a lichen derivative. And to put it simply, it's not sustainable as lichen takes several decades to grow and it's damaging to the ecosystem. And also it's not pure. It's really more of a plant extract that contains a vitamin D3 component. So now enter Veg D3. Years of innovation have led to the development of the only 100% pure certified organic plant-based and biologically active form of vitamin D3. Veg D3 is produced from a non-GMO algae, which are grown in controlled conditions. So it ensures 100% purity, sustainability, and scalability. It's chemically identical to the animal-based D3 and meets both US and European pharmacopias for colocalciferol. So that means it can be used as a direct one-to-one -one replacement and behaves identically in formulation. Veg D3 is vegan society approved, kosher, halal, organic, and non-GMO. It's available in oil and powder grades and suitable for just about any type of formulation from dietary supplements to food and beverage. So if you're a formulator or a manufacturer, contact me and let's elevate your products. And if you're an educator, let's spread the word. Thank you. Beautiful. Kanta, would you like to start off? I'd love to, thank you. Really good presentation, lovely. And I'd love to see a vegan product on the market base. Question for you, um, is your vitamin D3 approved say, in infant formula? It's, it's identical to, it meets USP, it meets European Pharmacopoeia, it is colocalciferol vitamin D3. So it meets all regulations and it's suitable for all populations. So it's approved for infant formula in the US? Um, that's actually specifically approved for infant formula. I'd have to double check, but I would imagine so, just given the nature of the material. Um, not, not all ingredients, even if they are approved by the FDA or, or which I say recognized as safe, are actually approved for infant formula. I'd like to know because I believe that there are markets for your product and especially for vegan products. That's why I was going to ask you about it. Just a quick question. Does it smell fishy? Because things from algae usually smell fishy. Actually, the organoleptic properties are actually pretty favorable. It's um, pretty pretty mild and unoffensive. So I don't, I've never experienced any issues with it. Corinne, the floor is yours. Thank you. Um, so I think this is actually really exciting, being somebody that pays a lot of attention to my vitamin D3 um, intake and being living in a northern climate where it's even more important. Um, and the idea of being able to access a, a vegan form of it is, is really is exciting to me. Um, I'm curious about kind of the impact that it has on price point. 
given the way that it is produced and put together. And if I were to use that ingredient in my formulation, your ingredients in my formulation, how would that impact my price point? Um, and to expand on that question, um, a lot of clinics now are providing their patients with free vitamin D3 because of the benefits of it. Um, so you would be in competition with that as well. So can you speak to that in general? Yes. So the the price that it adds to a formulation is negligible um, in terms of the um, even at the daily recommended dose or even double that you're less than a penny per day. So um, it's it's quite quite favorable in terms of uh, cost and use. And then as a follow up question to that as well, if, if you should get such a high demand after this incredibly wonderful opportunity to present to <laughs> great folks, um, do you have the ability to keep up with that demand because, and can, at the same time ensure that, that it remains um, non-GMO and organic certified when the demand increases? 30 Absolutely. Seconds. Yes, that's one of the biggest differentiators of this material. The um, the fully scalable ecosystem in which it's produced, we can actually go from a no material to a full supply in eight weeks. So um, it's you know continuously able to scale and produce. Thank you. Thank you so much. That was wonderful. Thank you for having me.